Yo, what's up you guys? It's your boy Pluto here with another update on the uh, reflective text. Um, yeah, I left out a few things on the other uh, tutorial, but now I'm here to cover it, cover it all. So, you know, first thing is first, get your text. Get it how you want, centered, you know what I'm saying, all that. Alright, now you want to, uh, let's see, get the material you want to use. For me, I'm going to use the uh, near black. Drag that thing on the material. And uh, the shiny. I might use chrome. So I can find a chrome text real quick. Material. I right, heard it is. Alright. And so if you want, uh, if you want um, to have two materials on it, uh, as I will show you, uh, you want to click on the first material, come down to selection, and have a type in capital I C, no, number one. And you see how it's the the chrome text is on the back side of the text, like it's on the sides and the back, and the front is black. Let me give you a better example. Uh, I'm choose blue, replace the blue with the black. And you see how the blue is in the front of the text, and the chrome is on the back. So yeah. Um. Now, time for the uh, shiny reflections. So you want to get your spear, get that centered with the text. Make sure it's covering the whole text. Get that real quick. Then click on the uh, scale tool and scale it up. <clears throat> All right. Now go down to your materials. Get the material you put on your back um, on your background of the map. Then right click the spear, go to Cinema 4D Tags, go to Compositing, and uncheck Cast Shadows, Receive Shadows, Seen by Camera. Then we'll come over to Compositing Background and check that box. Then come back up to your spear, click on the material, then come down to Projection. You'll see uh, UVW Mapping, click on that, change that to either Frontal or Spherical. I use Frontal because it's better. As you notice, the text is more shiny. It's shinier. Let me see. Let's see if I can scale it up and rotate it to the front. But there you go. You see, the text is shiny. Um, you can even make it more shinier. Just click on the material you use. Double click that. Go to reflection and turn it up. And you see, oh, <laughs> that's a lot of reflective. But yeah, you guys, that's basically it, you know. Oh, if you want to make it even more sexier, you can add my Lightroom to it, you know what I'm saying? Let's watch this, watch this. Exclusive. Oh, baby, boy, that don't look sexy, boy. Hoo-wee! But yeah, um, leave a like and comment below if you want to buy my Lightroom. It's on my selfie. You have both of them for $6. It's pretty cheap. Um, But yeah, guys. Um, Pluto, and I'm out.